what the? Alrighty guys, Mark Delami here with another unboxing for you guys today. And this time I have Rob Zombie Films Halloween 1 and 2. And this is an only at Walmart exclusive steelbook. So we're going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing to see if this steelbook is worth picking up. Let's get started. Alright, now that we got the wrapping out the way, let's go ahead and check this shit out. So this artwork is kind of cool. It looks kind of like a classic looking, I don't know, like comic book artwork kind of. I wish this glows in the dark. You guys know I like stuff that glows in the dark. But it kind of looks like that greenish yellow, which is pretty cool. So the artwork on the front, not too bad. Okay, not bad at all. I like this. And this does come with the Blu-ray plus digital. Unfortunately, all the Walmart exclusives that just came out, like there's a bunch of like Halloween theme or horror, I should say, still books, and they're all Blu-ray, unfortunately. Let's go ahead and take a look at the back. What it says about the movie there, scene from the movie there, or some characters. And Halloween 1 plus special features right there. Halloween 2 special features right there, and they're both unrated. Okay, let's move this out the way, get a better look. We do got that matte finish here. Okay, I'm liking this artwork right here. Oh, man, there's a dent right here. Look at that. Kind of flat. Oh, that's going to bug me. You can see it right there. Oh, that's terrible. Can't believe it. See, you don't notice these things unless you open it, which sucks. That makes things a lot harder. But, yep, there's a dent right there that's going to bug me. And here's the spine. Rob Zombie Films Halloween 1 and 2, Lionsgate. And it looks kind of classic too. Like, you see what I'm saying? I don't know if they're like going for a comic book style. Oh, that's cool. Simple and clean, but I like that. Okay, interesting. I do not like this though. This is going to bug me. Let's go ahead and take a look. Make sure there's no more dents or scratch. Oh, look, here's another one. Sweet baby Jesus. That's terrible right here. Okay, let's go ahead and open it up. Move the digital copy out the way. And let's see oh okay so we have artwork on the blu-ray disc well kind of some artwork we had a little clown right there okay and for part two different little artwork which is nice little touch like that's cool i wish there was more artwork but there is something which is and it's different so i'm not too upset about that and we have some inside artwork evil has a destiny this is actually pretty cool it does look like comic like a comic strip right here interesting old school i like that and a nice shot of michael myers there with a bunch of different characters and pictures that's actually pretty cool okay still book logo right there to make sure it's official all right front back spine inside but Is this still book worth picking up? I would say I did enjoy these movies 1 and 2. They're not my favorite Michael Myers movies, of course not. No, I mean Halloween. But I did enjoy both of them nonetheless. Um, the still book is actually pretty nice. I do like this artwork front and back. The worst part about this, besides the damage, of course that's going to be the number one, is that there's no 4K disc, which sucks. But for some reason Walmart's only getting Blu-rays. That's kind of how like Target does too. But as a still book itself, it's definitely worth picking up, at least to me. But I wonder what you guys think. Have you seen these movies? What do you think about these movies? And what do you think about this still book? Is it worth picking up to you? Let me know in the comments. And if you like this video or like this still book, go ahead and click the like. If you guys want to see more videos, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you turn on those notifications so that way you don't miss out on any upcoming videos or giveaways that I do. And for all other things that I post, check out my other social networks like my Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I'll leave the link to those in the description. As always, thanks for watching. Until next time.